Hey guys, I just want to welcome you to the Paul Jr. Podcast. Uh, this is going to be a podcast where, you know, I can do some uh, talking about the things I'm passionate about. Uh, certainly uh, some recap of American Chopper, all these years of American Chopper. I'm sure you guys would like to hear some, I don't know, behind the scenes stuff, maybe some show rewatches. And then really honestly, um, do some good for some charities, talk with some corporations, just some of the stuff I'm really passionate about that I love to talk about, um, that I find interesting that I hope you find interesting too. And, uh, also we're, we, we were going to wait to get in the can, maybe like five or 10 of these before we let them, you know, let them out publicly. But, uh, there's one in particular that I think we're going to release early. Um, and it's really due to the situation in Afghanistan, uh, I got my my producer Nick here, and so hey, folks, he's he's been helping me through all this, and honestly, I couldn't do this. He's doing all the sound stuff and in the cameras and That's everything sweet like that. And so, um, in any event, so um, you know, with everything that's going on in Afghanistan, um, and the people that are hurting out there, especially military, uh, we did a podcast about three months ago. Uh, it's th- for this new institute called the firearms research institute and it was i'm not gonna lie to you it was pretty heavy i mean it was it 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 really opened my eyes to some of the problems that we have out there heartbreaking yeah with veterans and and veteran suicide and people who are contemplating it um and so we just thought it'd be really good to release this now instead of waiting um just for you to hear and try and understand some of the stuff that's happened out there with our veterans. So uh, just a few statistics that are more current. The Veteran Affairs VA Suicide Hotline receives on the average 725,000 calls per year. That's 725,000 calls per year. Is that shocking to you? That's just veterans. Those are just veterans. Not one of them are offered the opportunity for firearm safe storage. Now, make no bones about it. I'm not, th- th- this hotline's amazing. So this isn't, this isn't anything against the hotline because they're obviously, they're taking the calls. They're trying to help these guys that are struggling or women uh, for that matter. And my point is firearm safe storage is something that we feel could have a huge benefit moving forward to prevent veteran suicide. And that's what this next podcast is really all about. Um, the last two weeks of the U S military withdrawal from Afghanistan, the veteran suicide hotline received an increased outreach of more than 35,000 calls made between August 13th and August 29th. To me, that's just staggering. You almost have to remember that that's like a person behind that each number. Like that's, what's kind of hard to, you need that second to kind of like realize that. It's crazy, you know, and what we don't realize, even from the 20 years in Afghanistan, a lot of these guys are young, 18 to 34 men and women that kids. they're all kids. I mean, I say kids. I mean, I'm older now, but this is really not these are not like older men and women that we're used to when we think about Vietnam and some of the earlier wars. These guys, these are very young people. Mm-hmm. Um so anyways, I just wanted to shout out to you guys, let you know that this is what's coming. I'm very excited about trying to do some real good uh, and, and with, with this podcast. And uh, also, we, we're going to have some fun.